idea of I can do anything that I put my mind to. Um, you know, a part of it was me really believing that God wanted me to be there, whether it was a big mission or just an experience for me to encounter. I really think God wanted me to be there. But one of the most important things that happened there was my perspective on wealth and prosperity and happiness. I met farmers who literally had everything they had with them, like the clothes that they had on at that moment, the food, the potatoes that they were selling, that's all they had. And they were the happiest people ever. And then I met people, so like Shireen would say, like different people just invite you to their house. So like the mayor would invite us to, out to eat and all these things. And then you'd realize that there's some people who have what we define as success, but then they weren't happy. And I'm not referring to the mayor in China, I'm just talking in terms of like, you see the different, um, you see the shift. So you have the farmer who really has nothing and he's happy. And then you have the Buddhist over here who's just enjoying inner peace. And then you have someone else who has what the world defines as success and, and money and wealth and riches and fame, and they're not happy. And for me, that really resonated with me in terms of what I wanted for myself. It wasn't about chasing money. It wasn't about chasing fame or riches, but it was about having that happiness and knowing that you're in your purpose, doing what you're supposed to do, whatever you believe that is. Mm -hmm.